Hello everyone. So today I'm so thankful to TEDx for giving me this opportunity to share my life journey with all of you. My life journey has, uh, it's, it's nothing less than a film movie, full of thrills, excitement, moj masti, challenges, everything. Okay, I want to start from the day when Against all odds, a miraculous child, a seventh month old child, defied all the medical expectations and survived. With the marvel of medical science and with the sheer determination of doctors. I hope you all understand it's very difficult for a premature child to uh, face the challenges, that is the health challenges. But that frail little girl, she managed everything and she survived and showing the strong determination of human will. And let me introduce you to that girl. I'm Shekha Pant standing in front of you with my life story. The last 50 years has been very exciting, full of challenges. And these and each and every challenge of my life has helped me to find a strength within. My story can be like any other story, but for me, it's very special. It has taught me so many things. It has helped me to face so many adversities, so many challenges. And every challenge has given me a new opportunity. Beyond the wings, soaring high. So my wings are always ready to achieve the unseen heights of the sky. When I was a little girl, I started my acting career in Doordarshan as a child artist. Wow, what a wonderful days. Facing cameras, rehearsals, and how I used to be happy getting all the attention of everyone. But then, I was told for not faring well in my exams, not in my studies, by my friends, as usual. But then, with the help of my teachers, my parents, my brothers, sisters, I managed to complete my class 12th with a decent marks and I joined Delhi University. But you know, there was every time something always hit me within. Shikha, you have to do something. Not even not acting then something. But what is that something that is always a question mark for me? When I was in college, I used to work part time, weekends. I remember my friends uh, used to party, they used to go out, they used to enjoy themselves and I used to sit in the shops giving demonstrations. Since that time, I understand the importance of being financial independent. I'm talking about 90s. And then, the moment I completed my graduation, I got a very good offer from a multinational company. I joined that company because beyond the wings, a soaring high. I want to fly. I wanted to, for me, always the sky is the limit. And I was very happy that, yes, I'm a part of the multinational company. Then two things happened to me simultaneously, my job and my marriage. I got married at a very young age. And my job was very exciting. Uh, I really wanted to tell you at that time, you know, marketing and sales was only meant for men. But I was there, I was standing with all the men, you know, and taking care of dealers network. People used to say that how this girl will go and, you know, take the checks from the dealer. It's so difficult. But then I used to think, why difficult? What happened if I'm a girl? I can do everything. And I used to enter the shops boldly and I used to ask for the checks and, you know, used to generate revenue for my company. And that time, 
I used to be called as a dynamite of the sales industry. Yes, I was very happy. I was enjoying my married life and my work. But then life is so unpredictable. Get so many challenges, you know. Zindagi kehti hai ki aap shant nahi baith sakte, aap khush nahi baith sakte. Aapko mehnat karni hai. Then, there was also a sense of acceptance that Shikha, you are a married and you have to give some time to your family. Because my work was somewhere or other, you know, obstructing uh, my uh, household duties, my responsibility towards my in-laws, my parents. And I did not give a second to leave my job. But then, again, Pang Fad Fada Rehthe. I want to achieve the heights. Then I started teaching to my locality kids. Tuitions? Sabko pata hai tuition classes? I started taking, not tuitions, but yes, I was enjoying my time with these kids, imparting my knowledge and trying to give them good moral values and also making my teaching bit of innovative by storytelling. And children were enjoying my company. And I don't know how, but I guess become a bit famous, you know, in my circle. I start getting offers from nearby schools and the institutions. And it is correct to say, if you have a desire, if you have a will to do something, no one can stop you to do that. And then, I started uh, going there as a guest lecturers, lecturers or guest teachers uh, for taking English classes. But then, oh, I embraced motherhood, a wonderful year of my life, beautiful moments, my son complete me. But then I realized that, you know, my, this, my, because I'm taking classes, my son cannot roam here and there, you know. So, I thought that I'm doing injustice to him, you know. So, I thought, okay, I will not take classes at home, I will take classes outside. So I started going to institutions and schools, okay, and also uh, try to raise my son properly. But then again, life is so unpredictable. I lost my parents. Very sad. The worst moment of my life. Sab kuch khatam ho gaya. As the youngest daughter, the most loving daughter of my father, or I saw that it's finished, everything is over, kuch nahi raha. But then, yes, I'm blessed to have a wonderful family, my in-laws, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, my son, my husband, all gave me emotional strength. And I don't believe when people say, na, shaadi ke baad cheeze badal jati hai. Yes, badal jati hai, but for good. And it happens with me. So my story is not a sobby one, but yes, it's full of challenges. And then after that, uh, I... Um, Devoted my time in education. I need to finish this now. A lot to tell. But one thing I want to tell you that I'm here as a teacher. And teaching is a wonderful profession to me because I believe that through my teaching, I'm always remembered and always be alive in the lives of my students. Thank you very much.